Good morning my beautiful people, all the way from Germany. I completely forgot to make an intro when I was in New York for part number two. But anyways, let's stop talking. I hope you guys will enjoy part two of me eating 24 hours of whatever I want in New York City. So stay tuned for a lot of delicious foods and let me know at the end what was your favorite. So, smash the like button, comment down below and we we'll see us in the next one. And if you also want to be updated about my life and what I'm doing right now because also of my restaurant and everything, just follow me on Instagram, Alan Pjanic, link is in my description box down below. And yeah, we we'll see us in the next one. All right, guys, the burger was amazing. And now I'm at the place it calls Empanada Mama. And this is completely unplanned, but I saw a video from Cup of TJ on YouTube who said that the empanadas are amazing. And I heard something about a jerk chicken with cheese or Swiss cheese empanada. And this is really what I want to try. Actually, I'm not that really hungry, but guys, it's only one day, so I have to try it out. Anyways, let's go inside and order a jerk chicken and Swiss cheese empanada. to get the jerk and cheese empanada just one please yes I made the order guys and it looks amazing and it smells so good and it is like 479 with tax for just one empanada but we will see I cannot wait man oh guys just look at the golden bad boy it is actually not that big but it's made completely fresh all are handmade guys looks so good so i will just try to bite in and then we're gonna see how it looks in the inside and how it tastes so jerk chicken swiss cheese empanada empanada mama oh yeah Yo. Just look at the inside. It is actually not really spicy. It is not spicy at all. But the chicken seasoned to perfection. Delicious flavor, no joke. Mm. I'm not hungry guys and it's still so delicious so then you know it's really good. It is super flavorful. Even it's deep fried. In one way, don't feel it's too greasy. I don't know why. Perfectly cooked. The, the dough is not too too thick. But for almost five dollars, it's a bit pricey. Because for seven bucks, you can get the whole platter from halal guys. I know it's something completely different, but it's still hard work. Mm. 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 But once in a while, why not? I really like it. I enjoyed it so much. Great job. And Cup of TJ was so right. No joke. It is so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But after, I definitely need a break. I'm so happy that I go here and try this out. Something that I never had and it's amazing. 
So before I go, Noelia and Alexandra, you are the best. You guys are, they are the best. <laughs> Just to let you know, Empanada Mama, come and try it out. And we are in the Jackson Heights. In front of me, we have Purple Dough. And they offer us a lot of delicious stuff. And Purple Dough because of a lot of Ube items. And you know, if, especially when you're an uh, Instagram follower, how much I love Ube. So let's go inside and check it out. It's a small mom and pop shop. I don't know if, if it's really, po I don't know even if it's popular, but I found it just yeah by walking across some streets and then I saw this place here in little Filipino town, I think it is. And also please guys, don't forget to subscribe if you're new, smash the like button and comment down below what was your favorite item until the end of the video. But yeah, let's check it out. Let's go inside guys. friends we saw what we got there's a lot on the menu and I couldn't decide it was so hard to choose so many delicious items especially a lot of ube items oh man but yeah I decided myself for ube leche flan and also ube halaya cake donut so let's continue eating guys let's continue the food tour here in New York and you saw in the b-roll how good it looks oh man I cannot wait to enjoy it so and yes guys, that restaurant is also earned by Filipinos, so... And we're gonna have to support the local businesses, especially mom and pop shops, so... Let's try it out. It looks so good. So first the Ube Leche Flan. Oh, let's go inside. Oh! Just like so, and I cannot wait for the first bite. I love flan. But I never had ube flan. Oh, just look at the delicious look. The color. Oh wow. So let's see. First bite. Oh my god. Boss is good. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. So the bottom, the ube part. It's like a super moist cake. And on top, the thick flan. Oh! But the combination. Oh, wow. Need to make an Instagram story immediately. Greetings to all my Filipinos out there. You know how much I love my ube. Oh, boy, this is good. Guys, I'm so speechless. It is so freaking delicious. It is. Boah! Oh, it is so, so perfectly. Mmm. Boah. Taste. Boah. You can see on the bottom maybe. Then we got the glaze of ube and some toasted coconuts on top, I think it is. Because Ube and coconut also goes together really well. But let's see, let's try it out. Cake donut. Ah. Mmm. Mmm. That cake donut is definitely everything, but not dry. Wow. Mmm. It remind me of something. So you can definitely taste the ube. Mm. And something else that I had before. It tastes like a 
almost like a sponge cake. I don't know why, but to me, it makes, oh, this, but it's so good. It is got a unique flavor to it. I am so happy that I found that spot. And I already can tell you that the Uwe Flan is my favorite from these two items. But they also have halo halo, they got shakes, they got boba, they have chocolate, they got crinkle cookies, so and so much more. Mm. Wow. So, I will definitely enjoy the rest of the flan before it's time for the next spot. Mm. But this was definitely one of my highlights today. Probably the best dessert that I had in my whole USA trip. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, much love to the shop here purple dough <laughs> their purple doughs are on fire even if it's so moist <laughs> so that was all we're gonna see us at the next spot stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and also if you're in the area here Jackson Knight New York all the information from every restaurant always in my description box down below also follow them on Instagram they need the support Small businesses support them. They make every every time of a job. Trust me. So guys, we're at the next spot, and yes, this is nothing maybe special for a lot of people, but we don't have Jollibee in Germany. I really was looking forward to try their spicy chicken version, because you know I'm in a hunt for the spicy chicken sandwiches. And here we are in front of. So right behind me, guys, it's the Jollibee. So I hope this chicken sandwich will brings me some joy. Bad boy up. Oh wow. Guys, and here we have the sandwich. Look at that big crispy goodness oh my god that chicken looks so good and it comes with sriracha mayo jalapenos two potato buns if i think it's like brioche i don't know exactly but it feels so good whoa i cannot wait for real it looks so amazing so my first experience with jollibee and i ordered just a sandwich i had so much food before you saw it guys and all in one day it's not even 8 p.m and we still have some more to come so let's enjoy this and then it's time for the next spot but i will definitely destroy this right now i need something savory again after the dessert from purple dough so and this is also filipino let's see how the spicy chicken sandwich from jollibee will taste but first when it comes to presentation amazing no job it looks so good the better everything and the sandwich in total risk tax was 543 and even if it's super busy, they made it super, super fresh. They made it fresh and fast. That's what I call fast food. So let's see, first bite, let's enjoy. Yo. It is spicy because of the breading, the sauce and the jalapenos. Wow. 
It is good, that's for sure. Maybe a thick when it comes to the breading, but we will see. Let me take, let me take me some more bites. Mmm. Yo. A lot, a lot of meat. You can see it. Breading is amazing. Crispy, warm, almost hot. The bun is not break or something. It holds the perfect, it holds the sandwich just perfectly. Oh man. No complaining. Man. I can tell you that this is going to be one of the best ones. Mmm. The sauce, the bun. To the seasoning, everything is on point. So, I will enjoy this and we will see us at the next spot. And probably also the last one. And why don't get a peach mango pie? Because I had one yesterday without the camera. And if I'm honest, it is delicious, but three bucks, too much. It's too small for three bucks. And it's fast food, so, but you, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong, it tastes good. Anyways. Jolly B. Your chicken makes me jolly. So my friends, we are at the food hall and the world mall in Flushing. A lot of Chinese, Korean, Asian foods in general. And my plan was first to go to a uh, Xi'an food place, but it is closed sadly. Because I really was looking forward to try their, uh, how it calls, uh, Ro Jamon, so the uh, lamb burger. But yeah, it's closed. I'm a bit disappointed because it's not even 9. And they supposed to be closed at like 10. But yeah, it is what it is, but also something that I got big cravings for are Pad Thai, authentic Pad Thai with chicken. And here is a spot as well, and it calls Bon Chu Thai Street Food. They offer so many different items, man, this is crazy. But just because I'm pretty full, I just go with the Pad Thai, chicken Pad Thai, and we'll end the video with you guys here at the place. Because it was so much food today, I'm stuffed, but I... I need me just one more thing and then I will go home to my hotel and tomorrow yeah I have a drive to Philadelphia but actually to New Jersey for a bit more food so that's why this is going to be the end but yeah we will see us in just a few seconds with the food And here we got the pad thai. Oh man, it looks so good. And I'm happy again. Yeah, I couldn't make it, sadly, for the Xiang food. But I had Xiang food in the morning. But I was really looking forward to try the burger and the yam pea noodles, the cold noodles. But let's stop talking. I paid for a diet coke and the amount of pad thai with chicken, 12.25. It's steaming hot guys, it looks so good, oh wow, last meal of the video guys, yo, immediately, what a strong tamarind flavor, mmm, wow, this is good, The bean sprouts, crunchy, the chicken, the chicken is juicy and tender and the sauce with and the noodles soaks the sauce up like what, just to perfection. Mm.
I can see why the people like flushing more than Manhattan. So Chinatown flushing. The food is crazy. The price is unbeatable. The amount of food, the quality, the people, everything here is so good. And next time when I'm in New York, I will definitely will be back to eat me through the whole flushing area. Oh wow. I will definitely enjoy this. Big shout out to Bonchu who holds this restaurant calls. It is amazing. Mm. And creamy. Wow. I will put some chili on it and that's it. Some Thai spice. Oh yeah. Now it will be even better. Mm. Oh yeah. So, I will enjoy this. I don't know if I will end this video here. Maybe at home. See us in a few YouTube seconds. Mm. I enjoy my food more without camera. Because always when I record myself, I eat faster. Mm. So, until then. And also an outro that I totally forgot to record. But yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the New York food trip with me. Two parts of amazing food. So if you've uh, missed part one, please check it out. And uh, stay tuned for a lot more good foods than just in part two. Anyways, let's stop talking. I wish you all the best. And we'll see us in the next video all the way from Bosnia.